What's up guys? Welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Remake. We're on chapter 8, Budding Bodyguard now. And to begin with, this is quite linear again, so I'm gonna cut quite a lot of this to begin with just because it's so linear. And um but once you get to the sort of second half of the chapter, there's more to do, so obviously I'll show you more then. But um to begin with guys, yeah you got these guys, they're all weak to fire. And obviously make sure you assess them all. And try and stagger any if you can, if you've not staggered them before. And also try and use a weakness on them. So any enemies you come across, any new enemies, try and hit the weakness and try and stagger them as well. Do that on all enemies from now on, guys. Always try and stagger a new enemy and use a weakness on them. As long as you've always got every element on you. So, for example, you can have fire and ice on cloud and lightning and wind on somebody else, for example. You should always be able to hit weaknesses and once you kill these you have a quick little boss fight Renault quite an easy one quite an easy boss fight guys nothing too difficult yes obviously assess him he's a new enemy type so yeah always assess new enemy types as well Reno no weaknesses guys so obviously kind of it's weakness but make sure you try and stagger him yeah on EC it's not gonna be too difficult trust me Remember, you can always use Punisher mode and blocks with his attacks, but just be careful because sometimes he will sort of he'll, he'll sometimes try and stun you with electric. So just be careful of that. And if you get your limit break ready, awesome. Because that probably probably gonna die now. Well, he would be if he um, if there wasn't this little story sequence where he, once his HP hits 50%, this happens. Yeah, once his HP hits 50%, this will happen. So these are enemies as well. Yeah, these are the enemies you can actually assess. EM mine. And then we'll destroy them quickly. And then finish off Reno. Staggered. Staggered him. Easy. Like a walk in the park. Over here. After Reno, you have to follow Aerith, guys. Just follow Aerith for the time being. Pretty linear stuff, just follow Erif. Once she looks over the balcony, just walk towards her and uh, the hoodie will catch her. And after getting past Erif on the balcony, when she finally gets the fuck out of the way. Oi Erif, get the fuck out of the way, girl. Yeah, come down these steps because there's a chest down here. It's not anything really important, but it's a piece of equipment, so we'll grab it, a talisman. And then just follow the li linear path again, guys. By going up the steps, across the plank. And after the cutscene, you need to jump up here onto the sort of um, gridding along the roof, along the ceiling, and just make your way across now. Quite awkward this bit. Make your way across, not that chandelier down, then make your way across to the broken part of the railing on the opposite side of the um, level, and rendezvous with Aerith. Oh, hello again. Let's move. Yes, follow Aerith again. An escape from the church. So through the attic, along the middle plank, out of the three. Try not to knock Aerith off. Whatever you do, don't look down. Ah, daylight. Yeah, now make your way across the rooftops. Up here, along here, and then down here. Watch out for the pigeon shit. And once you get to this little hut here, come down on yourself. There's a chest with a moogle inside. More pigeons. There we go. Nothing else important for the time being. It's quite linear. Just crack on following Aerith. Or let her follow you. Actually, across the train track. Down. Across. Across. Wait for Aerith. Come on, fuck's sake. Why you go all day? Up ladder 5,622. Rescue the damsel in distress. Or let her fall. Your choice. I will not judge you either way. Go on, get across you, girl. Wee! Now Aerith, Aerith Gainsborough joins your party. Right, Aerith, guys, what I'm going to do for now with upgrading weapons, I'm just going to auto-upgrade them because it's quicker. You just press triangle and always go and prioritize attack. It'll also purchase any new material slots as well. That will for you. So, yeah, just always just press triangle now, prioritize attack. It'll be a lot simpler. There we go. Now, with Aerith, obviously, she's a new person. She'll have a weapon. So, we want to try and use her ability first. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put first strike uh sorry not first strike put that on there actually her material i'm going to put um yeah sorry first strike just so she's always got like a to b gauge first so that we can quickly use 
her weapon ability to level up her weapon. Right, I need to fill the rest of her magic slot, material slot, so I actually upgrade something. Make sure you've always got a um, got every basically every element covered, and just stick some stuff on uh, clouds. Right, and we're good to go, guys. So remember, use Aerith's uh, weapon ability first. I'm going in the right direction. <laughs> yes, I am now. So new enemy type, guys. Always first assess if you can. So I'm just going to use her ability, Arcane Ward. And eventually, you'll get to the train station. And after reaching the train station, guys, after the cutscene, turn around and there's a chest behind you with 500 gil inside. Then head forward afterwards and you'll find a vendor machine with another music disc. And we have Kate Sith's theme here. Make sure you purchase that. And then carry on until you get another little cutscene. Then you'll have to come through here. To avoid the Turk, once you get to this fort, guys, take the right path. Once you get to this lever, you'll have to active interact with it. Just to stop bloody Aerith being nosy. Satisfied, Aerith? It doesn't work. Satisfied. And then you can move on. And you can push this crate. Chris Redfield would be impressed. And once you push your crate, guys, follow the path. Still pretty linear. And once you go here, guys, where you have to climb the ladder, there's a chest here with a piece of equipment in. Once you go up this ladder, take a right and you come to sort of like monkey bars. You're going to jump up to them and climb across on them. You'll drop down to this chest, you can open it, and inside you should find the Collegianus bracelet. Is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. But you can equip that onto one of your teammates and then they can equip uh, extra materia because it's got three materia slots we'll lob it on cloud there we go it's got an extra materia slot now right good to go and then you can crack on guys following linear route again back up ladder take a left and just follow the path wow looks like a shithole and eventually you'll come to this other fort guys and you want to take this path here underneath that and when you get to this gate, you can unlock it. Enemy type here, guys, the smogger. It's weak to lightning. So first, gonna assess it. And then we'll hit it with lightning. We'll try and stagger it as well. Always try and stagger a new enemy type. And hit their weakness as well. And he's dead. Once you've got the smogger, come up this ladder and open the shortcut just in case you need it for later. There we go, Arith. You happy? Happy now? Then after doing the shortcut, head over here, up to this container, and show off your bulging biceps again, and push this all the way to the far wall. You have to push it twice. There we go. Down the ladder, up this ladder, and then over to the monkey bars, and then climb them across, and drop down to this little platform beneath my feet. Yes, top tip, always drop down to the platform beneath your feet. You can't go wrong then. Down this ladder, and open the door. Oh no, that's not a switch. There we go. Come into my office, Erith. Little fork here. Don't worry about that path to the left at the moment. Keep going. Keep, 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 keep going. Keep going. Oh, people. I found civilization. And once you get here, just watch the movie quickly. The video on what not to do at reactors. And here is a woman with nice earrings on the screen. Okay. And let's go. You heard the boss. Let's go. You eventually meet the leaf house lady, the house mother, and then you need to follow Aerith over to her house. No, it's strictly business, strictly business. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. Already introduced me to her parents? Uh oh. Walk away now. Walk away now, guys. Once you're finally in her house, head up the steps to her room until you hear her talking. There we go. That's weird. Could have sworn I put them here. Yeah, once you hear that, head back down and you get into the cutscene. She'll find them. And then we're going to turn into a florist. Florist morphing time. We're going to use these flowers on the next boss fight. The last boss of the game is weak, weak to these type of flowers. Just keep grabbing three flowers. Grab three flowers. Once you've picked up three lots of flowers, guys, you can follow. Aerith will say you're good for now. And they can head back to the house mother. No, not the mother she of said, Aerith, Aerith's house. Scary, I so mean the house mother more? of the leaf house. Yeah, do not confuse the two. So over to your objective marker. Right, once Aerith has left the party, guys. 
We're going to head down here now. And talk to this little dude. Uh, Almost ran past you, Oates. I remember you. Where's Aerith? Yeah, talk to Oates here. And then he's going to head back to Aerith. And we're going to follow him. You've got the objective marker on the map, so just head back there. Right, Aerith's back in your party now. Danger in the hideout. Danger in the hideout. So first of all, just going to head into this house. Just next to the leaf house. There we go. And you're going to get the music from Jukebox. You'll get Tango of Tears from the jukebox, so interact with that. Music disc 25. Now we're going to go and follow the little boy now. So just follow the little boy, guys. And eventually you'll come to Chadley. Good old Chadders. There goes the little boy, ran past him. So once you get to Chadders, come to this little item shop or the material vendor. And you can buy the 19 music disc, Costa del Sol. Yeah, buy this. And then talk to Chadus, and you should get some more battle intel now. Talk to him and then exit and you'll get all the new battle intel. And hopefully most of it you've completed already. Because you can fulfill requirements before you actually get the intel. And you've actually got a Shi'ar VR mission ready now as well. So if I go into battle intel, these are the ones we just got. And I've actually completed most of these already. So you can't complete 05 yet and you can't complete 09, but you will complete 09 a bit later. So Monster Bio Part 2, Assess 10 Enemy Types, you should have done that guys. Uh, Report 7, Magic Elements Part 2, Exploit Weaknesses of 15 Enemy Types, hopefully you've done that. If not, just keep using weakness, weaknesses on different enemies. Manipulation Technique, Defeat 2 or more enemies with a single attack, hopefully you've done that. And Monster Variants Part 2, defeat, defeat three monsters of unique varieties. You have can only actually discover two of them, two unique enemies before this point. But we'll actually get a third unique enemy on this chapter. So we'll complete that then. I'm actually going to complete the Shiva VR Simulator now as well. So the VR Simulator Shiva. She's actually weak to fire, so make sure someone's got fire. And you want to make sure Ifrit's on cloud. So talk to Chadders again. And you basically want to buy any materia that's become available because you've completed the battle intel. So talk to Chadus again and you'll hand in all that battle intel you just completed already. So I can buy that one, ATB boost, um, steel materia, provoke materia and stead fast block materia. And once you've bought them, VR missions guys and we're going to do Shiva. Yeah, Shiva. Oh, VR goggles. Let's play Astro's Playroom. Oh, it's Shiver. So she's weak to um, fire. So, but I'm going to assess her first, guys. This is, it's not a difficult fight, guys, especially on easy. So first, going to assess. And use a weakness when you can. There we go. Spell, fire, yes. If you can use Focus Thrust, you'll build up her stagger quite a lot. Uh, if you keep using Arcane Ward and she's maxed her proficiency. And she's fire again. Right, my summon is starting to begin now. Fire again. Aerith and Arcane Ward. Weapon ability learned. Cool. Right, as soon as you can summon Ifrit, summon him. She's weak to fire, so we do a lot of damage. Duty calls. Summon Ifrit then once ever you get a full uh, ATB gauge. You can use his abilities and they'll do tons of damage to Sheva. And you can remember, remember, you can use some abilities with either of your teammates. Radio Plume, Radiant Plume, yes. So I think Ifrit's going to destroy her now. There we go. 
That's it, Ifrit. Well done, my man. My man. Haha, <laughs> nice one. And that's... Yeah, you'll get a trophy for that guy. Summon Slayer. And now it's yours, the Lady of Frost. Shiver Materia as well. Shiver Materia. You can actually put that on... Yeah, you can put that Shiver Materia on... A, it's a Summon Materia. Lob it on Aerith if you want to. There we go. And once you're done, guys, let's crack on with the objective. So follow Oats over here through into the secret hideout. Here we are, the rude boys. Get his chest. He got a uh, Moogle inside here, guys. Oh, that's a nice flower. Aerith gave me one of them before. Is it Daffodil? It's my favorite. Be careful. Right, yeah, just crack, crack on down here, guys, to the objective. Kill the enemies along your way. Nothing else really loot for the time being. Oh, more enemies? You want a piece of me? Fucking eight rats. Don't worry, we're coming. Just stay alive. Don't throw him in the water, he can't swim. Three blind mice. Oh no, there's four. Some crates. That's it. Eventually you'll kill him all, guys. Come on, grab my hand. Right, now to escort the children back to the secret hideout. Don't look at me, just climb the ladder, Aerith. Get back, kids, now! Phew, that's close. Stay behind me. Don't worry, they're only hedgehog pies. And uh, finally, you'll get back to the hideout. You can talk to Oats, you'll get the handmade necklace. And then head over here afterwards. And as you go to exit, you get a little scene. Ooh! And then try and exit again, and you'll get another little scene. But more like dialogue. And then after that, the Moogle merchant will appear. Ah, oh, there we are. Talk to the Moogle merchant afterwards. You know, buy the Moogle membership card from the Moogle Merchant and then exit and they talk to him again and the shop will be available yeah and you'll complete his quest the mysterious Moogle Merchant really a difficult side quest that one I hope you can manage All right, thanks for the chat Aerith right back to the Moogle Merchant and you're going to buy the music tra uh, track 20 gold saucer you also want to buy the silver silver staff Aerith's weapon. And that's all we want guys. Silver staff and a gold saucer. So buy them. And then equip the new weapon onto Aerith. First you want to upgrade it. So Aerith. And you want to put it on auto to prioritize attack. There we go. And then you want to place that weapon on Aerith. And then you can use that new weapon ability in the next battles. And the weapon ability is Sorcerer Storm. Right, and once you've done that, we're going back to the Leaf House for another little side quest. You can actually go and complete the main quest here now, but it's a few side quests you want to do so that we get one of Aerith's dresses. Yeah, we're only going to do three, well, I think it's three or four side quests we do now. So make sure you do not do any more side quests than what I do or any less. Just do exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, do exactly what I'm doing on this chapter, guys. Very, very important. So come along here and back to the lady, Leaf House oh, lady, uh, yeah. Miss Folia. Folia. That's right. One That's it. You should get a trophy after talking. Uh, sorry, not a trophy. Side quest after talking to her. And don't forget, the kids on patrol side quest. I know where they are. Yeah, kids on patrol. They come over here, and the house mother will come for a little chat. And she'll give you a trophy as a reward for picking them lovely flowers. Oh, say it with flowers. After you spoke to her, come over and talk to this girl with the wooden sword. That's one of the children for the kids on patrol. There's five kids we have to find, by the way, and talk to. That's number one. Number two, just carry on past where she was into this tunnel. And there he is. Little Link wannabe. Well, little Cloud wannabe. After that, come here, take a right. Keep following the path all the way down. Take a right again. And you can see the weapon merchant coming up in on the map now, the icon. Go up to the weapon merchant. And there's another little boy here. There he is. Hair looks like a little chestnut. A little chestnut head. Anyway, I gotta go study. 
There you go, that's kid number three. After that, back down the slope, and there's kid number four just ahead of you. The little girl. Hey there you there. go, the one that had a little flower, flower yeah. earlier. It's a normal day. Oh no! Did you see Miss? Oh, I gotta go! I'm go on, sorry. go on, run on, run along. And the final kid is over here. Boy, give me my glasses back. I have to get back right now. That's everyone. Let's go right, back after you spoke to all five kids, you'll be updated to go back to the house. We're going to head back to the house now. Just head to the objective marker. There we are, back to Miss Folia. Right, and after you've updated the side quest, we need to go back to the hideout now. Once back in the hideout, just head towards your green objective markers and you're actually going to find the enemy that you have to kill for this quest and it's also a third unique enemy type so we'll also complete that battle intel as well. Remember whenever you take control of Aerith during battle make sure you use her um, weapon ability to match proficiency. There it is, the unique enemy, the Hedgehog. Hedgehog King? Is it called? Hedgehog King? Yes, obviously we need to assess him. Hit its weakness and stagger him as well. Always do that with each new enemy. And we got him. You see all that, guys? We've completed Monster Variants Part 1 Battle Intel. And once you've, once you've killed that, them enemies, guys, return to leave house. Choose yes. Talk to these guys to um, complete that quest now. Kids on patrol. And you get the nail bat. You saw there. Just got a nail bat obtained. We're not going to equip that just yet. And after that, guys, I've completed it. We're going to head back to the hideout again. Back at the hideout. Just ignore everybody. Piss off. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, just come to the far back here. And see this little girl now with the green icon. Make sure, before you do anything, make sure you have the Iron Blade equipped. Very important. Obviously, reslot your same material. Yeah, make sure you've got the Iron Blade equipped. That's very important for the side quests. And they talk to the little girl and basically you want to say yes and do the Whacker Box Challenge. The reason you need that sword equipped is because you can only use a... You can't use every weapon ability for this. You can only use the actual weapon ability of that actual weapon you've got equipped. And the Triple Slash is very, very good for this challenge. So we need to get over 30,000 points, guys. And when you're destroying this, hold, always hold square. Because the square attack does like an area of effect swipe, like so. So you always want to use hold square. And obviously use the, your triple slash once it becomes available. By holding L1 and pressing X. It, or whatever you've got it slotted to. Mine's shortcut it to L1 and X. So these 1500s take a lot to destroy. But a triple slash will do a lot of damage to them. So always hold square guys. And just keep smashing these as you go along. Like I say, you need over 30,000 points to complete the challenge. What we need to do. And sometimes you'll be able to hit a red box like that and get extra 10 seconds. And that's it. I've got 30,000, guys. Just just make sure you get over 30,000. If you need to do it again, then just do it again. That's it. Afterwards, as long as you got over 30,000, you'll get all these rewards. Wow, Cloud! Yes, as, as long as you've got over 30,000, you get all these rewards, guys. And you want to get that trophy crate annihilator. It feels good to yeah, you'll get all them rewards. And once you've done that, guys, you can actually go into upgrade weapons. And the nail bat, we want to auto it to prioritize attack. And then we want to equip that now as well. And the special ability for that we need to use is the disorder attack. There we go. And if you look at your quest quest log now, guys, this is what you should have completed. So chapter eight, Bud and Bodyguard, you should have completed Mysterious Moogle Merchant, Kids on Patrol, um, and a very a verified hero. So you completed three side quests altogether. Don't worry about the other, other three. Do not complete anymore. It's just these three we wanted to do. Mysterious, Kids, and Verified Hero. And um, we can actually go and finish the chapter now, guys, but it's just one thing we need to do first. Just talk to Chadley and we're going to hand in that battle intel report we just completed a little bit earlier. Hey Chadders. Yeah, talk to, 
I'm not even going to look at you. Yeah, and um, by synergy materia, it's not a big big deal, guys. If you haven't done all them yet, um, you should get you should complete all the requirements throughout the um, game. So don't worry too much. And but I've done all nine out of nine so far. Just keep always stagger new enemies, always hit a new enemy's weakness, and always assess new enemies. And any that come up a bit later, you should complete most of them. And we're gonna head over here now. It's gonna be a little boss fight. But just before, there he is, you see him kneeling down, just before, make sure Aerith has got the aero, uh, sorry aero, make sure she's got the wind material equipped, Aerith, yeah, she wants the wind material, guys, very important. And you can also, yeah, yeah, just love the wind material on Aerith and you should be good. You find this guy, he's quite difficult to dodge his attacks. You just need to keep trying to stagger him with Cloud and with Aerith. Always hit his weakness with Aerith. So straight away, she should have first strike still. Use wind on him because that's his weakness. And obviously with Cloud, I'm going to assess him. So Aerith, I'm going to use wind. Well, yes, arrow. There we go. That should pressure him straight away. Yeah, he's staggered. I'm going to assess him in a second when I get a chance. And you see, once you brought his HP down so long, there'll be this scripted sequence. So you can't, you can't actually kill him just straight out. Changing his sunglasses. So I'm going to assess him. Yeah, so disorder, that's the nail. The nail's attack. It's my job. And Aerith can use win as soon as it becomes available. That should pressure him. Yep, that might happen. That's a bit rude. So I'm going to use Disorder now. Pressured. And I've got my um, Limit Break ready as well. It's not too difficult of a fight. There we go. I mean, he's dead already. Especially on easy. It'll be a bit different on hard, but on, as well on hard, we're going to have better materia and that anyway. No, so yeah, just keep hitting him with wind, with Aerith when it becomes available. And um, with Cloud, just try and build up his stagger cage and watch out for his attacks. Because it's quite, you can't just mash him. He will keep sort of attacking you, stunning you. But head back to Aerith's house afterwards. But before you enter, there's a uh, material up there. A MP up material. We'll go and grab. There we go. Hidden in the flowers. Another MP up material. So we've completed three quests. And we don't want to complete any more. You're and that already? means we'll get a certain dress for her. So when you come to a house, choose yes. Yeah, yeah. don't worry, we'll day. complete all the other quests on hard. You have to complete all the quests on hard anyway, because you, there's like exclusive rewards you get on hard mode. So in here, skip the cutscene. And this bit is very annoying. You have to get out of her house, well get downstairs without, without walking into anything. And it's really annoying. Sometimes when you're not even near to summit, you may knock it and you get sent back into your room. But if you keep knocking things, eventually it will despawn, so don't worry too much. Basically, do not knock anything at all. Oh, I can't believe I didn't hit anything. I normally always hit that bucket so, right outside the room. So yeah, once you get downstairs, you yeah, that scary looking woman. That's her mum, looks, like looks like she's half dead. So leave Aerith's house and head back into the slums. 
just head towards your object basically head towards the objective marker yeah eventually you'll come down here towards your objective marker just keep pushing forward and you'll meet Erith and that'll be the end of the chapter guys yeah I'm gonna cut this video there because the next one is quite a big chapter and I want to keep that all in one video you'll get a trophy there as well reunited yeah so thanks for watching that one guys and I'll see you on chapter 9